My name is Michael Hughes, and I'm the general manager for Consol Energy's river operations. We have 24 towboats, almost 700 barges, of which we transit the Ohio Valley. Most of our deliveries are to utilities. Uh, we haul mostly coal products, but we also haul uh, some aggregates, uh, some fuels, light oils, things like that. The Champion Coal is a vessel that we acquired in an acquisition in 2007. The vessel had uh, previously been powered uh, by, uh, with Caterpillar engines uh, as a retrofit. They had taken some older engines out, put the new modern 3512s in. The vessel was due for a total rebuild, and it worked uh, quite well for the, uh, not only the grant opportunity uh, we had in the emissions upgrade, but also all the other work that needed to be uh, performed at the vessel. When we were approached with this project, we were excited uh, to be involved. Obviously, it was an opportunity uh, not only to take advantage of the grant, take advantage of the grant dollars, but also to uh, show our company and show the rest of the industry and the regulatory uh, folks that we uh, we were able to uh, do something bigger and better for the vessel. My name is John Stevenson. I'm the branch product support operations manager for Cleveland Brothers Caterpillar. One of my duties is working with the marine industry, including the uh, kit that we just recently completed for the Champion Coal. The kit basically was to change the engines from a Tier 1 to a Tier 2 configuration. In the kit was brand new Caterpillar parts. They were cylinder packs, cylinder heads, turbochargers, uh, all the components necessary to make the change from a Tier 1 to a Tier 2 component, all genuine cap parts, all new parts, and all the parts that we needed to complete the complete rebuild of the engines. We want to do uh, several things with the upgrade. Uh, one was to prove to uh, the rest of the industry that you could actually take a Tier 1 engine and make it Tier 2 compliant with just the emissions upgrade kit. Uh, obviously, our, our company, some of the core values, number one is safety, uh, safety of our employees and our equipment, and number two is compliance. Uh, for us, it was simply making a, a greener vessel, making the vessel more in, uh, environmentally friendly and decreasing the NOx and emissions. Our vessels are not only uh, propulsion systems, they're life support systems. So anything we do to our vessel is, is very important to us. And again, it always relates back to the safety of the employees. Uh, we want to make sure that whatever we do to our boats, uh, we do it cautiously, we do it conservatively, and uh, we do it with trust. We, we have a strong philosophy that if you're taking care of uh, your folks and if you're taking care of the environment, then the rest of the things kind of fall into place. And we feel like we're part of the community. So it's in our best interest, and it's in the best interest of the communities and the public to, to do things the right way. Um, again, our theme is safety and compliance, and if you're doing those two things, you're doing it right. Uh, we, I think every manager uh, starts out every day wanting to do the right thing, and not only the right thing for his company, uh, also for his employees and, and our surroundings and our environment. So it's important to us to, uh, to, to have a good public image. Uh, the boat's comfortable to live on, which is very important, and it's productive, and it's and it's environmentally friendly. So I think we've we're hitting a home run on all on all points.